After speculation in New England and beyond, Congressman Joe Kennedy now says he is considering a run for Ed Markey's seat in the U.S. Senate. Kennedy cool. says he will make the decision in the coming weeks. But if he decides to run, this could make for a heated Democratic primary next September. WBZ's Christina Rex has the story. A Kennedy has never lost an election here in Massachusetts. And as WBZ's political analyst tells us, a Joe Kennedy Senate run could mean big trouble for incumbent Senator Ed Markey. Joe Kennedy or any other Kennedy isn't going to run into something like this just uh, on a whim. Blindly. It's a major shakeup, the possibility of Congressman Joe Kennedy running for U.S. Senate in 2020. The congressman of six years announced in a Facebook post Monday that he's highly considering a run, writing, I haven't reached a decision yet. That's the truth. I'm thinking about what I have to offer Massachusetts voters, what is most important in this political moment. If elected, he would unseat incumbent Senator Ed Markey, who said the news of a possible Kennedy run isn't going to stop him. I I am running. I am running for re-election. I am crisscrossing the state. I am fighting the fights of the people of Massachusetts. If he's in, it's big trouble for Ed Markey. But according to WBZ political analyst John Keller, a possible Kennedy run could mean the end of Markey's political career. The way things have been going in Democratic Party politics lately, it's an advantage to be young and to challenge the aging baby boomer establishment. And he says Senator Markey has been preparing for and possibly fearing a Kennedy run by hiring high-profile consultants and securing major endorsements, like this video of Elizabeth Warren he posted last week. Throw my full support behind my great partner. They're trying to, to bluff or elbow him out. And Congressman Kennedy says he plans to spend the next several weeks talking to voters before he announces whether or not he plans to run. At his offices in Newton, Christina Rex, WBZ News.